Welcome. Today is uh, August the 27th, 2012. It's time for uh, San Jose State's weekly football press conference with uh, head coach Mike McIntyre. A few notes uh, today. This week's game is uh, at Stanford. It's Friday night. Game time is uh, 7 p.m. A radio broadcast on uh, KLIV, KION, KSJS FM. The uh, Pac-12 network will be uh, carrying the game nationally in 50 million homes. So uh, tickets are uh, still available for uh, Friday night's game at Stanford. And now uh, we will call in the San Jose State football coach, Mike McIntyre. Thank you. It's uh, exciting times. Uh, I know everybody's uh, excited about football starting Thursday night. College football kicks off. Um, and uh, matter of fact, the interesting thing is the, the WAC uh, will play. They're only w playing one game on Saturday. They're playing Thursday, Friday, and one game on Saturday. There's four Thursday night games, and one Friday night game, and one Saturday traditional college football game. So uh, we're excited about the game uh, Friday night at Stanford. It's great for the Bay Area. It's, it's great for both programs. And our, our young men are tired of hitting each other and uh, ready to hit somebody in another color, which I imagine uh, Stanford feels the exact same way. Uh, you know, their, their team is loaded. Um, you know, they have a, um, a great run ba running back in Stephon Taylor, who's up for the Heisman, a phenomenal tight ends, uh, exceptional offensive line. And, uh, you know, their, their job is uh, they're gonna just try to line up and run over you and establish their running game. And uh, they've been able to do that the past uh, few years against everybody they've played. So. That's going to be a formidable task for us to uh, try to control their running game. Uh, defensively, they have, I would say, the best, uh, probably the best front seven um, in the um, Pac-12, if not second. And I would say they're definitely in the top ten in the country in their front seven. They're exceptional. They're big. They're strong. They're athletic. Um, very, very good players. Um, they have some really good corners, and their safeties are new. Their last year's safeties are playing in the NFL. They're, their safeties are very athletic, very highly touted recruited young men. Um, I know Avia uh, uh, play very, very well. So uh, we've got our work cut out for us, and uh, we're excited about going there to play. Our young men um, have been in school now uh, for a few days, and so we've gotten back to the rigors of, of class and practice and all the work there, and uh, I thought they've been handling that extremely well, and uh, they'll be excited about playing uh, Friday night. So I'll open up to any questions at this time. Coach, when you look at your team, what can you do well uh, against Stanford? What can we do well? Well, um, hopefully that um, hopefully on, on defense that we're able to control their run game. Um, last year we did a, a decent job of that. That's probably the only decent thing we did last year in the game was control their run game a little bit. So hopefully we'll do that, but I'm pretty sure they'll have some answers for the things that we did last year. And, um, and they, you know, they're trying to get their running back off to a start so he can have a jump on the Heisman Trophy race. And so uh, we need to be able to do that. I, I think also offensively, I think our, our receivers and tight ends are good football players. So we need to be able to find a way to, to get them the, the ball to be able to try to make some plays for us um, in the open field. Uh, Coach, uh, last year everything was, was new, kind of like the past couple of years, you played against Alabama, and then you played Stanford, and now everything's kind of, everybody's used to it. Like, you have a lot of returning players. Um, right. Can you ex talk about how that's going to help more this year, as opposed to the last couple of years? Well, yeah, we're bigger and we're stronger, and those young men have played, so they have more and more experience. Um, you know, uh, Stanford's a excellent football team, um, and uh, you know, I think they're ranked 21st in the country, and um, you know, they've won. 10, 11, 12 games each in the last three years. So uh, they're an excellent football program to, uh, to us to be going to play. And uh, it's going to be a very tough task for us. But I think our young men are excited about the game. And uh, uh, I guess they, I guess you would say they probably feel a little more comfortable, maybe not as nervous, um, knowing that a lot of them are, are juniors and sophomores that have played quite a few plays in, in, you know, in, in against good football teams. Coach, over the summer you've talked about adding a lot more depth to the team this year. How do you say, how, how critical is that going to play coming into this season now that you've added a lot more depth to the team? Well, it, depth is always critical. Number one, um, so for when someone gets hurt, you don't just drop off the table, so to speak, or drop off the cliff with the next guy coming in. That, 
a lot of our guys have experience and are bigger and stronger. Uh, the other side of it is you're able to, to practice better, you're able to practice harder, more repetitions, and that improves what the product that you put on the field. Um, that's something that the fan doesn't see until the product shows up out there. That's something we see every day. So in the competition between the players, you know, in anything in life, if you have somebody behind you always pushing to take your job, it always makes you work a little bit harder, work a little bit smarter. And I think that's some of the products of being a good program. And I think we're, we're on our way to doing that. Um, not quite there yet, but we're on our way. And you recently just named your starting quarterback, uh, David Falls, how, how important do you see him coming into this season? What do you see him stepping up to? Yeah, we're excited about David Fales. Um, he's a young man um, from Salinas, um, Palma High School. Uh, he had a good spring, had a good fall. And of course, the quarterback's role is always critical. It's under the microscope. They get all the praise or they get all the criticism. They, nothing falls in between for them. And I think that David's definitely ready to ha handle it. Um, and he has good weapons around him. It's not that he's going to have to do everything by himself. Um, but again, you know, Stanford's defense is uh, their front seven. We won't play a better front seven all year long, and uh, they're very, very good. Um, the fact that you've got four running backs, you know, on, on the depth chart there, uh, do you expect to use all four of them? And, and how effective do you think that running game could be by being able to mix and match those guys? We will use uh, a multiple of running backs, um, and uh, we're excited about them. I feel like they are good. Uh, I feel like we have depth there. and. Uh, so we need to utilize them the best that we can um, in, in this game and all the games coming up. So I think it definitely helps us, no doubt. Hey, hey. Uh, I, I still see some freshmen on the depth chart. Uh, some I understand a number of them are red shirt, but how many how many of those do you think we're going to see on the field uh, Saturday? And what you know, how does that fit into what you're planning? Well, uh, we'll have a few freshmen out there. Most of those guys that are backups are red shirt freshmen. Um, and uh, so they've had a year, really, they've had the summer before in July, all year and all summer. So they've, they've been here a while working hard. Um, we uh, don't have many redshirt freshmen that are going to see a ton of t time unless someone gets hurt. But you will see some in there um, backing some guys up, um, giving them some breaks along the way, which is good. So we're not having a true freshman in there uh, to do that. I think it's, it's close. You know, we didn't have 85 scholarships the first year. So, I mean, this is only the second year of 85 scholarships. Until you have about four years of that where you can really truly build and truly redshirt and truly practice correctly, um, do you get to the point where you feel like the most of the kids you put out there are seasoned. Um, so I, I'd say we're probably a year away from that, um, the way I would see that. But, um, you know, I think as far as the culture of the team, as far as their work attitude and their work ethic and their um, that type of thing. I think they understand um, what we want, what we need. And I think this team understands what it takes on a daily basis to be good. Now we just have to go do it more often on more Saturdays. Uh, Coach, uh, Stanford just named their quarterback <clears throat> and Josh Nunez. How, how do you go about, uh, like, what type of things will you, schemes will you try to put out? Well, Josh Nunez is an excellent player. He was a highly recruited player. Um, he's a big young man. Um, but Stanford's going to do what Stanford does. And I would think until he kind of gets his feet wet, so to speak, they're going to re rely on Stephon Taylor and the really good running backs and their big line and their tight ends and throwing the ball to Ty Montgomery um, here and there. Um, so I, I think that. Um, he'll, they'll do a, some other. I think they'll do a few other things with him. I think he's a pretty good runner. They'll probably do some speed option and some um, um, read option type things. I would imagine. Um, he did a lot of that in high school. Going back and looking at his high school career. Um, so we've studied up, studied up on him and, and tried to look to see if some things that he had done in the past that they might implement. But you know they're going to do what they do and, and tweak a little bit to what um, I think are his strengths. And we really won't know that till the game gets flowing. Um, will Otten be 100% this week or how close? Um, yeah, Otten looked good today. He looked really good today. And um, I'll, I'll know Friday when I'm watching the game if he's 100% or not. But he, he was able to practice a complete practice today and did really well. I saw him afterwards and no signs of any problems. He said he was feeling great. Coach Stanford's a big team, big stadium. Would you say your players would want to take a lot of experience out of this game? What do you hope, they, what do you hope to pull out of it, like number one? Well, what I hope to pull out of number one is a win, period. 
Um, and um, number two, I would just, you know, hope that you, you play well and um, that you come out of there injury free. You always want to come out of every game injury free. But the main thing you're going into, no matter what, no matter who you're playing, where you're playing, when you're playing, is to win. And that's our, that's our ultimate goal is to try to win the football game. Coach, what are your thoughts on um, debuting uh, in the Pac-12 network this year? Um, I think it's good. We've got a um, new helmet. The decals will look good on national television, so we're excited about that. Our kids are always, when we get to play on television, you know, we played 10 of our 12 games last year on television, so I, I think our kids are used to that. They enjoy that. Um, also, anytime that we're on TV, um, especially playing another pack, a Pac-12 school um, within our state, it's great for recruiting. And, you know, there'll be a lot of kids watching it. And if they don't watch it, they'll, they'll tape it and watch it the next day. And, and the other thing that's good about, I guess, the Pac-12 network is they'll have a lot of replays of it as it goes along. So this is kind of a game that will keep living on. And so uh, hopefully uh, we're able to enjoy watching it as it lives on. Is, is this a game that you have to win to come out of it feeling good? Or, is, or are there things that you hope you can take out of this even if you don't win it? Uh, any game you play to come out of it feeling good is winning. That's what fun is, winning. Um, so, uh, you know, I would look at it as no. If you don't win, you're not you're not you're not feeling good about it. Period. Now you can always take strengths and weaknesses and pros and cons out of any game. Even if you win a game, you're feeling good about it. But you can still look back and say where you have where you look at good things and bad things. So it's always a learning experience. But as far as feeling good or fun or enjoying it, it's all about winning. Coach, you said uh, they're they're they have. Uh, new safeties on Stanford. How would you go about to trying to exploit and try to go after them? They they do a great job in their and their with their secondary and um, you know I don't know exactly how we will exploit them. Um, the main thing we've got to worry about is that front seven. If we can get by them, then we'll try to exploit the safeties. Um, I just um, know that um, you know there'll be different ways we'll try to attack it, just like we would anyway. They're going to keep their similar scheme that they run. Um, I don't know if what I'm saying is I don't know if they'll put those guys in as much harm's way, so to speak, early on and kind of let their front seven try to win the football game, so to speak. Will you try to ease Fails into it, being his first major college start, or, or is he good to go and, and the whole playbook open and everything? I don't think there's any way to ease him into the 21st team in the country. You just go play. And uh, he'll have his good moments and he'll have some bad moments. It's just how he bounces back after the bad moments um, will be the telltale sign for how, how he plays in the game. Uh, what? Talk about uh, Mike, this once was, this once was a very competitive series. Yes. Um, and I realize you've only played them once. But uh, the last four games, uh, the average winning margin all by Stanford is 32 points. Right. What are the biggest things that you need to do to narrow that? Well, I think the, the Stanford, the people that have watched Stanford over the years, the player has changed. Um, they're bigger, they're faster, they're stronger. They've always had great quarterbacks come through there and a few great players, but not to the magnitude that they have now. Um, and uh, that's a credit to uh, their coaching staff and to their university. And, and how they really bought into a building, you know, doing what they've done. And to me, watching it from afar, it all started when they built the new stadium. And when they built the new stadium thing, everything changed. And I know Coach Harbaugh did a great job. Coach Shaw's done a great job. But until they built that stadium and they said, we're committed to being successful in football, they hadn't been. Because you had a lot of good coaches come through there and do some things, and they would kind of win and go. To me, it's all changed because they, they're totally committed to being successful. And it's kind of put them on the map, so to speak, even though their school's always been on the map. I think it's kind of elevated it to another level, um, hearing people talk about it all over the country. Um, so I think that's the key to why they've been so successful. You know, for what we have to do, we have to keep – I think we're going to be closer to, to them on the field this year than we were last year, talent-wise. Um, now we've got to go not make the bonehead mistakes we made last year. Kind of just gave them the football game. And uh, – but they're very, very good, and we've got to control the football as far as not turning it over. We've got to cause some turnovers on their part. We didn't cause any last year. So there wasn't any opportunities to get some short fields, some easy scores, and that type of thing. They had a lot of short fields and a lot of easy scores. Um, so to me, the ball control aspect of ball security and causing turnovers 
can sway a, team, a game um, in our favor, and that's what we have to do. Coach, obviously it's a very exciting season for our fans. What's the biggest message you have to give to them for this coming season? Well, our, our fans are very excited, and you know, they um, have backed us all the way, and we're excited about the future. And you know, our season ticket sales are up, and we need to keep selling those. And we're looking forward to a lot of people coming out to, to uh, Stanford to watch our opener. Um, but our, our, you know, they should be excited about our kids. You know, they've done great in, uh, in the classroom. They've done great off the field. And we improved on the field last year, and our goal is to improve um, even more this year on the field. And we just need their backing and their support. And our, I know our kids are excited about this year. They're excited about every year, but I feel a little bit different era confidence with them. Um, but we got to go do it on the game field. And that's, the, that's where all the, I guess the proof is in the pudding, so to speak. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate it.